So as part of toxicology today, we are looking at the effect of different toxicants such as alcohol, nicotine, and caffeine on blackworms. Do they speed up? Do they slow down? Do they run around in circles? Do they clump? Do they not clump? So we're looking at dose response curves majorly. Basically how the worms respond to different levels of the toxicants. Our visitors are from Kent County Middle School and they're from 7th grade and they've recently been studying toxicology in their science class. So they came here to study with us in order to get a better view on what toxicology actually does. We're working with college students. We get to communicate a lot. We learn and we have fun together. So I think it's actually really cool that they get to come and work with older students in order to learn the different aspects of toxicology and even science. We've been talking to these kids and kind of giving them advice about college and things like that and how to kind of, they're young, but talk about career choices and things. I love helping people and I want to be a surgeon. And it definitely takes me back to my pre-college days and I didn't really know as much of the ins and outs of the labs as I do now. So it's caused us to slow down a step and really really causes us to think about what we're saying because we talk in a different language than what they're used to so it's really different to teach somebody than it is to actually sit and do the experiments ourselves. Just seeing what their level of knowledge is on the stuff is really interesting. I really like looking at things through their eyes, uh, kind of having to explain things and also kind of seeing their interest in science it really allows me to understand different ways that people interpret things. Having a good foundation in the sciences definitely helps you for college so when you do get into those classes that are more difficult, more challenging, you can have that foundation already. We can have fun with our experiments and also learn things at once. It's a little bit easier than going into it without knowing how to do something. Finding out what works and what doesn't work in an experimental design. Also figuring out how to make an accurate hypothesis, how to determine what's actually going to affect uh, heart rate and pulse. Learning how to microscope, learning how different things affect the body, learning how to work with animals. and Working with different kinds of species to understand their effects with toxicants and also with their immunological response. They're a lot of fun and they're all really bright so it's been a good time to work with these kids. I've had a blast. It's a lot of fun. I love working with the kids. They taught me a lot of things around the lab and I'm just glad I'm here.